Hey guys, what's going on? Triple T Doug here, and we are playing Emily is Away. I don't really know where this came from. Uh, saw this game come out of nowhere, like people playing it, and I was like, you know, and I'll, I haven't looked at it. I don't know what it is, but I thought, you know, why not? Because I read a little bit about it being like an old AOL thing and kind of like a throwback kind of how it used to be or something like that. So I thought I'd give it a shot because it kind of reminds me of how I used to use the AOL Messenger back when I was in like before middle school to even in middle school. I still kind of used it and right before high school started. I uh, I used it a little bit, but then I kind of like stopped using it because I didn't have a reason to. Um, a lot of my friends kind of drifted off and they weren't using it or, you know, cell phones. A lot of people started to really use cell phones and... Um, you know, and then there was a lot of, like, you know, I, I don't know. There was just a lot of, like, I stopped communicating with a lot of people. But, um, because they either got really busy, they had new friends. It was kind of like that whole high school bullshit. So, but I never, I only read a little bit about the game. I have no idea exactly what this is about. So I'm just going to jump into it. All I know is I have to type on the keyboard, even though I choose my, uh, the, uh, um, even when I choose whatever the options are. Okay, so my screen name will be t Dog and my name will be Triple. Uh, that's fine. Oh, it's 2002. What do we got? Class of 02, Blink, M&M. Uh, we'll just use the basic. Buddy list. Oh. Emily's on. Uh, I, I always hated, and I still do this day, hate being the first person to message someone. I don't know why... It's like, I, I'm paranoid. I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to feel like I seem needy to like, hey, let's talk. You know, I'd rather feel like the person talked to me. I don't know. That's just the way I always felt. Uh, can I change? Oh, I can. Black and red, because that's cool back in... Actually, I just kind of want to be black to white. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Hello, Emily, hello. And I gotta hit enter. Oh my god, these sounds. Hi, what's up? Uh, my response would be talking to you or the ceiling, so we'll use talking to you. What are you up to? Hello, well, no shit, I'm just listening to music. Do you like Coldplay? I don't hate them. So, yeah, totally. I don't hate Coldplay. I have listened to their songs. I don't know anything about their last album in 2002. I don't know. I don't think I was listening to them in 2002, though. I didn't listen to a whole lot of music in 2002. This really was... I'm so glad you liked them. They're my favorite. Their lyrics are my info. Are you going to Travis's party tonight? Maybe I haven't decided. Depends on if you're going. Travis is such a dick. <sighs> Depends on if you're going. Sounds like something I would say, but at the same... Because we're friends, and I'd rather know that a friend's going. Not as a, like, let's hit on you, but I don't know. I'm not really one for parties, so maybe. I haven't decided. Got the old, like, Emily is typing thing, or Emily. Somebody else came on. You should go. It's no. It'd be no fun without you. It's crazy that we're already having end-of-school parties. Travis is still a shithead. Time flew by this year. I can't wait for school to be over. I can't wait for school to be over. I, I've been saying that all the time. I couldn't wait for high school to be over, and now it finally happened a while back. And same here. I'm so over this school. You know, Brad from our math class. He won't stop messaging me right now. He's a dick too. Just ignoring what he's saying. Uh, what is he saying? I'm kind of that nosy guy. Like, is he saying anything about me? Kind of thing. Uh, nothing important. Just one more month of graduation. Man, we are so old. It's kind of weird. I'm excited. I'm so. I'm not excited for college because I never really went to college yet. Uh, I was kind of. My plans were to go right out to work. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Did you pick a school yet? I know it is kind of weird. Like once you're done, you're done, and it's kind of odd. Yeah, I didn't get accepted in my reach school, so I'm just going to one of the others. But that's okay. Anything's better than high school. What are you going to? An art class, an engineer, business school. Let's just say, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not good with art, engineering. I'll just say business. I want to start a company, but I don't really know where to start. I do that face at the end all the time. 
I chose to attend a business school. Interesting. That's crazy. If anyone could do it, you could. I'm sure you'll be really, really successful. I'm having really odd deja vu of me talking to a friend saying that I might try to go into something. I don't remember what I was interested in when I was in school, but I swear to God she said the same thing. You're very talented, and I'm sitting there thinking I'm not that talented. You promise no matter what will happen, we'll still talk all the time? Uh, absolutely. Nothing could ever keep me from talking to you. You're my... Nope, you're one of my best friends. I don't know. That sounds like something... I actually... Yeah. Hi. And you're one of my two. You'll always be triple, so I'll see you at the party. Uh... Fuck. Um... Definitely? Goes to attend the party. I had the same thing where a friend of mine's like, you know, we'll always still talk even when school's over and made a big deal of no matter what, we will talk. And after high school, she got uh, engaged to one of my friends. Not like close friends or anything. But she eventually got engaged because the two were very close. And um, uh, I'm not going to be nosy about Julie. Um, I'm always away. But, um, you had the same thing where it was like, no matter what, wherever you are, I'll track you down and, uh, you know, we'll talk and, or I'll make sure you have my number. We'll talk. After high school ended, that, that changed really fast. Like, I don't even talk to her that much anymore. Like, it's kind of why I'm sort of paranoid. Oh, yes, the Matrix, of course. Uh, I guess that's why I'm a little bit paranoid, I guess, with people where it's like, you know, I don't want to be a bother and I feel like I may have did the wrong things talking to her. I don't know. I always paranoid person. Weird. Oh, see, look, she messaged me first. Uh, hey, what you doing? Finally talk to me after it's been, what, a year? This sounds about right for me. I talk to, like, one person, and then a year goes by, or almost, and then, oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's been a while. Just doing some homework and listening to music. Video games. Just playing this video game. What music are you listening to? You know, I don't know what the hell I'd be playing in 2003. No Patrol, they just came out with their new album, Final Show. Have you heard of it? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I know it. I don't think I know it. Jesus, I can't. Listen to it. It's really good. It's really into, like... Ch oh, man, my voice cracked. It's really into uh, music. How are you liking it? I, I would say it's hard. It's hard. I always have a lot of work. But at least I'm learning a lot. No, yeah, I mean, sort of what I would say. I mean, it's hard, but I'm learning. I'm getting something out of it. But at least my classes have all been boring, pressured stuff. Got any plans for tonight? Um, a group project. Yeah, I have to go to the library in a few. Massive group project due tomorrow. I, I don't go to parties, really. I'm not a party guy. I don't know. Why'd you wait until last six? We put it off. It was just a sign. My group is shit. More than likely, we put it off. We just put it off until now. It's the most benoring, boring work. Do you have plans tonight? Nope. Brad and has band practice. So I'll just hang out in my dorm. I know Brad. I don't know. I would ask that. Like, I would be like, do I know him? Like, is it someone I actually met before? Brad, he's my boyfriend. You remember from high school? We've been dating for a couple months. Uh, oh, I'm happy for you. Happy for you. How did you two get together anyways? No, just to say that without the anyways. Uh, well, he was in my orientation group the first week. At first, I didn't really know what to expect. But over the summer, he changed and matured a lot. I don't really know anyone else at the time, so we just started hanging out. And we kind of just hit it off. <clears throat> you know, I never had anything like that. Like, I've had a friend, you know, my closest friend that I was actually interested in. You know, I, you know, wanted to be closer kind of thing. Um, ended up going with another guy who was, a, at first to me, was kind of a scumbag. <clears throat> but, you know, he was 
It, he was at first nice and mature to her, but then he kind of started slipping off as time went on, and that's when she moved on to another person that's, I think, better for her. Um, he's a really cool guy, but to me it was like, you know, just so sudden, and I, I don't know, it's it crazy. What's he like? You love him? Is he your best friend? What's he like? I barely know Brad. But I'm, I'm saying is like they mature a lot, but people can either go one of a few ways, and that could be they start, they only are mature for that person and act that way for that person, which is kind of not being themselves. Or they could go off the deep end and just kind of start slipping and kind of not being like she, he doesn't have to be exactly mature, but you can start kind of being scummish, and he started to. He's smart and funny, and he understands me. Sometimes he can be a jerk, but when it's good, it's really good. Jerk? Wait, how is he a jerk to you? <clears throat> I just mean we get into arguments sometimes. We both are very stubborn people, so we go back and forth a lot. But like I said, when things are good, they're really good. That sounds... I mean, that's kind of normal. That's not like a you deserve better. Arguments happen in relationships all the time. It will be bound to happen. Nothing's perfect. So it's not a bad relationship if there's arguments. Especially if it's between two stubborn people. I can be fucking stubborn once in a while. So, <clears throat> I guess that's normal. I mean, I guess that that's normal. As long as you're okay. It's not like she, he's physically hitting her. That'd be fucked up. I am. We just get loud when we argue. I just really care about you. Okay, just now I really care about you. Uh, there are people who really care about you. Emily will remember that. It's like some telltale shit. I think we're fine. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Jesus, okay. Sir, I just want you to be happy. Chose to stop talking about it. I'm not going to keep pressing the issue if she doesn't want to talk about it. I'm not that much of an asshole or nosy to fucking do it. You need to go meet your group, don't you? And I should, but I can stay. I can stay and talk. I always like staying and talking to friends. Very nice of you, but I don't want you to miss everything. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. I like how mine is just black and white. There's the white. Emily's away. Chapter 3, now we're in 2004. I like how we only talk every year. Like, what the fuck? It's 2004, it's all about the, uh, it's all about, um, Usher. Uh, Green Day. The Incredibles movie. That's exciting. I don't talk to anyone else. <laughs> hey, Triple. Uh, Emily, hey. It's really un weird for me. I do know an Emily, and so I'm not... You know, I'm not talking to her. I'm talking to this Emily. How's life? I feel like we haven't talked in a while. It's pretty boring. Me saying it's pretty boring. Uh, how's yours? I mean, I'm not going to be like, oh, mine's been super exciting. I don't really lie. If things haven't been going that great, or it's been kind of boring, then it's, uh, you know, that's the way it is. I don't know. I don't exactly try to sugarcoat or make them think, oh, man, he's having a great time. Hanging out, warehouse party, going to a show. I don't... Just say we're going to a show with my friend Emma. Who the fuck's Emma? I don't even know Emma. That sounds like fun. Who's Emma? Uh, just, just a girl. She's just a girl. Oh, cool. I don't think I've heard you talk about her before. How did you two meet? Just in class. One of my classes. Just a biz. She's a business dude like me. Okay. All right. What she's like? She's hot. I don't know. I kind of like people that are kind. I, I funny is a good thing, but uh, she's just a sweetheart. I don't think I'd say that though. She's just a sweetheart. Ah, oh, trouble. Sounds like things are going really well. I just said they were going boring. That's so great. Uh, do you have any plans this weekend? 
What about you, Emily? You got anything going on? Me and Brad were supposed to go to see a show, but that's not happening. We broke up last week. I had no idea. You don't fucking talk to me. I kind of hate when people are like, man, this all happened, and it's like, you didn't tell me about it. I, I can't f feel sorry. Me and him had the same group of friends, so things are really messy, or are messy. I just feel really alone, you know? I understand. I totally understand how you're feeling. I don't really think I do, but I can understand that, though. I've seen that happen to a lot of people, where relationships, they share the same friends, and then when a breakup, it's like either they share, they, they take sides. There's never, like, a, a middle. And it's always very uncomfortable and awkward, especially... If it's all in the same school or class or in a workplace, that's why you don't have relationships with people at your work. Um, because it's like either the friends will all go to the girl's side, leaving the guy hanging because the girl, you know, they might think they'll get a chance with her because she'll be vulnerable after a breakup or sad or whatever. To they'll all go to the guy's side because they think the girl's a you know a whore, or a you know a piece of shit. They didn't like her. Uh, why did you break up? Want to know what happened? I guess we kind of grew apart, question mark? I feel like Brad changed a lot over the summer. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was just saying. Things were different when we got back. People can change on that dime. Like, um, it, it just depends. I feel like Brad was kind of being a fake shit to her just to seem like he was a good person. A second. He's not worth it. Please don't cry. I'm so sorry. He's not worth it. And you're amazing. Uh, an amazing person. Man, I am... This is just like me. I like. I want to say certain things, but then I'm like, no, I don't want to sound that way. Uh, I care about you. You're not, you're not a mess. And you're just sad, and that's totally okay. Uh, not really okay to be sad, but it's better than, you know... Thank you. It's nice to be able to talk about this. Do you like my Incredibles picture? I haven't really had the chance to vent yet. I know you'd do the same for me. I don't know if she would, but I don't really know this Emily very well, like for myself. But I'm going to just assume they've been friends for a very long time. But I'm afraid you'll hate me. Promise you won't hate me? Uh, promise? What is it? I hate this typing. I wish it would just put it out for me, but... At Travis's party, senior year. Remember how we got bored and went for that walk? We stopped at the playground for a bit. And we just laid there and looked at the stars. I don't think I've ever done that in my life with anyone. Well, why didn't you kiss me? I don't know. I didn't want to screw things up. I didn't know you felt that way. I didn't want to screw things up. I like you, but I'd rather not ruin a friendship over it. I've just always wondered how things would be if you did. I don't know. It's kind of stupid, I guess. I wondered that, too. I wish I had kissed you. You should have told me. I kind of really like it if someone's just open with me, because I feel like this me in myself in real life can't seem to take hints very well. I don't take these... Hints of, like, if someone's interested in me very well at all. Like, if you're into me, I wouldn't fucking know unless you tell me. <laughs> that was always my problem. Uh, you should have told me. If you tell me, things could have maybe gotten a little bit connected. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe I could come visit this weekend. I could really use some time away from this school. We said we would visit each other. As long as it's just as friends. As long as it's just as friends. You chose to establish boundaries. Of course, I'm not looking for anything like that. Oh, what are your plans with Emma? I'll talk to her about it. I just want to be there for a friend. Okay, I just don't want to mess things up. What do you want to do this weekend? Some parties, some stuff around campus hanging my door. You go to parties, help her forget about it, I guess. I, I don't know. To go to some parties. 
Somebody should I bring the alcohol? Uh, we don't need any. I don't ex want us to get super drunk, even though we're probably going to get drunk at this party. So excited to finally come and visit. Oh shit, I actually have to run. But I'll see you this weekend, okay? Okay, talk to you later. Hi, Emily. <laughs> hey, yay. Hey. New New Year of College, I wonder how that all went. It's 2005, it's all about uh, that and the Batman logo. Oh, Emily's on. Hey, oh Jesus. That one word, hey, does not make me feel comfortable. Hello. Yeah, that's uncomfortable too. I know it's been a while since we last talked. No worries. I kind of am used to people stop talking to me after a while. I've just been getting through a lot like that. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Alyssa, I was hoping we could talk about things. Uh... Uh, okay. Sure. I mean, it's better to just air these things out than to try to hide from them. I feel like things are weird between us. You felt that way? I, I, I don't think so, but I haven't been around. Like, I've disappeared. How can things be weird between two people if you've been gone for a year? I think it's because of last year. Things have been weird since I came to visit. People, please be honest with me. Oh, Jesus. Do you have feelings for me when I visit? Um. I really liked you. Yeah, I really liked you. Why not? There wasn't a good time. Ah, uh, whoa, what am I? You. He. I. Why? Yeah, I don't. I. I put a why. I, I didn't even. I don't type this. I. I just had a lot of feelings for you. I felt like our lives had finally lined up. Do you, do you have a bad time? Do you regret visiting? Like. This is why I say make the move on me. I'm not good at doing it towards you. I won't know. I don't regret it. I just feel like if we had a time, it was then. I'm sorry. You know, this kind of reminds me. I did, you know, I had the same th problem, but not in this way. I apparently, like, right before school ended and then my close friend that, like I said, I was interested in, um became with another person um while she was already dating that person it kind of already said you know i kind of wish it was me and she's like oh i didn't know i didn't know you had the feelings it was kind of the same thing where it's like we didn't know that w there was any feelings between each other and i was like no it's fine and then I, everything was fine it wasn't like as awkward as things are feeling um here where we lost friendship the only reason we stopped being friends is because I, when she got engaged and school was over, she had no really reason to talk to me. It was like, I think I was just kind of held on to, if I don't have anyone kind of thing. I just wish things had played out differently. Uh, are we still friends? I wonder what it would be if I just shut her down. So I, didn't, I don't like you. I don't love you at all. I still think so. I'm sorry, things are just really weird for me right now. Thank you for telling me about it. No problem. Right. So how is school and everything going? It's annoying. Kind of ready for it to be over. As your friend uh, Mike. Uh, he's okay. He's been more serious about school and stuff lately, though. 
And good for him, if, as long as he's not being a scumbag. Yeah, it sucks when people... Jesus, man. What are your other friend, Emma? Um, we talk all the time. I, I don't know. I don't know how my life with these people are. Be a friend, or... May I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I don't think I can do this right now. There's something wrong. I'm bad with these situations. Since I don't have actual experience. Like, I, I've dealt with some of this stuff before in my life. But uh, I hasn't been as awkward or as bad as this. Because I've never had someone break up. I go out and hang out with them. And then with them being vulnerable. Um, because they're very vulnerable. That's why I said as friends, because she, she just had a breakup. She's just looking to get out there, but, you know, it, I'm not, it's not my right to be like, oh, I'm the next guy, come take me, be mine, or something. Like, I like, like, my character can like her, but it's, doesn't mean it had to be, I don't know, it didn't have to be a relationship or anything, she just dealt with a breakup. So it only felt right to just stay as friends. We didn't have alcohol. I'm going back to 2002 for that. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to be the first. After our last conversation, I sure as hell don't want to be the one to message first. Hello. Ugh. Hey, Triple. Uh, how are you? Uh, this is how most of my conversations go. I'm good. Are you? Good? It's just really awkward now. Good. Have you been? You've been really good. So what are you up to tonight? This sounds like exactly how things go with me, when I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck to talk about. I'm going over Brad. I'm going over Brad's house later. Oh, I don't know if you knew. Me and him were back to great. Even after that awful breakup, I don't know if there's been a really bad breakup. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about people getting back together like that. But I don't care. She told me that she's always felt weird about you visiting. Oh Jesus. That ship has sailed. I was like, I'd never use that term. Maybe I would. And almost anyways. <clears throat> it flew by, don't you think? We're almost out of college now. Yeah, it's crazy to think we're almost... We're almost like real adults. <clears throat> High school was so long ago. Only a few years for me. It felt like just a few seconds ago. Yeah, it was. I did not think about the past. Oh, sure. Uh, I'm, after all the shit we've been through, I might as well, you know, all set for graduation. See, no past stuff. The future. We're looking at the future here. I think so. I have to order my gown and stuff. What are you doing this summer? Cake? Just hang out we're here with Brad and try to find a job. Uh, can we talk? How was you? How how has your week been going? Uh, pretty busy. What are you doing right now? Work. Ah, this house. Well, this is. This kind of feels like a conversation I've had. Like, where it's kind of just like, how are you? I'm okay. Uh, this, it's this. It, it's just a one way. Thanks to you. Or, nope. Find any good music lately. Okay. This is still. So so, like, I don't like is she's like, I don't want to relive old memories. So what, is it just, you're going to shut me out of my our friendship, like, just because of that one little thing? 
could destroy years of friendship. Like you, you blow it out of proportion like that. Like I wouldn't let years of friendship from high school or even before high school to to college and um from high school to college and then just because I wanted to just be friends or I didn't want things to happen but then she's like I don't think should happen then all of a sudden everything became weird if it's that weird to you then maybe you should really talk it out it shouldn't be this awkward just because of that maybe I'm wrong because I've never been in that situation but it's just really weird that that one night could fuck up years of friendship I mean it there can be that one really bad mistake, but just because I didn't say that I felt like, because of after that night, I told you that I, f or I don't even know if it was the day after, I think it was a year after, I'm like, yeah, I did like you, or even if I didn't like you, it was going to make the friendship over, like, I don't know. I'm gonna go, goodbye. Hey, bye. P-Dog is away. It's fucking sad, like, that the entire time, you know, we, you have a friendship with someone, and then that little mistake is such as liking each other, and loving each other, whatever, destroys a friendship. I think it would have been more, more awkward for a friendship if I went out and said that I liked the person, and she didn't either feel the same way or something, and makes it even worse. Or that I try to take advantage of in a vulnerable situation. That could be even worse. So I don't know if there's like different alternatives of how things could go. I don't know if every chapter has the same played out thing where in the end of it we're not friends. I don't know if there's even a way to. But Emily doesn't want to be my friend anymore because, uh, <laughs> because of one night situation where I just wanted to hang out, help her calm down and not think about crap. But apparently, because I didn't say I liked her, that ruins years of friendship. So I don't know. Maybe it's because I never had the exact experience. I've only had a close friend that I really liked, wanted to be there for her, eventually clo turned where did almost the same thing, except it wasn't like this awkward. She just kind of cut contact, and we just haven't talked. That was it. It wasn't like these awkward IM messaging thing, like instant messages. Of, yeah, you know, uh -huh, how's this? How's this going? You know, just weird, I guess. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next random video we do.